What's the difference between narcissistic loathing or vanity? Self-love with warm intent and shameless self-advertising and promotion for monetary gain and social clout uh, building and recognition uh, for power, power lifting, social power lifting. Uh, well, the first, uh, you know, narcissistic loathing or vanity, we want to avoid usually. It's not healthy. Um, the, the second, we chase self-love with warm intent. And the third, shameless self-advertising and promotion for monetary gain and social clout building and recognition. Uh, if we succeeded them, then we lose the need to even participate in, in the debate that I just raised there about the differences because of the political bystander effect. If it doesn't bother me, uh, and it's affecting someone else's money, especially a third option, uh, you, you know, uh, if it doesn't bother me, my, all my, my business, uh, I don't have to vote, I don't have to protest, and just watch Hulu and drink a wine cooler and eat this hot pocket half naked baby because the cameras are on us, you know, on the social media exploit uh, race of, of cell phone networking that we're building here, and now you realize we're participating at all times. Let's rock this social media video application playground. Okay, so TikTok is a, is a little game that started off for children uh, to sing with. Yes, it is. But is it actually uh, bare bones? A very extremely powerful um, video editing, distribute social networking, internet uh, uh, dis dissemination and distribution tool. Uh, you don't have to think about it as being TikTok when you're using it. Uh, you can you can make whatever message you need to make, or whatever art form you need to make with TikTok. You, you can you can uh, you can um, uh, complete whatever tasks you need to be completed by putting your messages out there on TikTok. And whether they're artistic expression, music, uh, comedy, uh, social activism, uh, venting and ranting, or, or simply personal journaling uh, to bring people closer to you and feel loved and, and know that, that you can do so genuinely because you know it's so comfy to be on the other end of the phone. Someone I can't see you back, but you get to really absorb them and feel like you're with them a little bit. It's hard to connect with someone when you're with them and think life is going on around you. So um, you know, here's the thing about social media video uh, application. Uh, with, with with threads, we had a problem. With textual thread based uh, social media like MySpace and Facebook because you put your message out there, someone sees it later, they put their message out there, you respond and people get nasty quick. And when you can't see the person, you kind of start to dehumanize them and just give them some schmuck on a keyboard that you can use and not the person that if they're in, in the room with you. It's a weird effect that you would never talk to them that way or, or treat them that way. And so, you know, text based social media makes it much easier to, to abuse one another. Um, so, and to also misunderstand one another. Um, you know, here's the thing about what we can do with, with um, social media internet uh, uh, application being video based in the future. Uh, we, can, we can use it for many, many different applications. Here's an exercise that you can challenge your friends and family who don't use TikTok to do. Step one, download TikTok. I don't want an excuse. Step two, start producing or challenge yourself to start producing a series of three minute selfie videos explaining your medical problems or your certain surgery that you're recovering from or, or, or your love life or your social progress or how you're doing at work, funny antidotes. You know, build a candid interview uh, that is constantly going on, a monologue that is actually um, a, uh, a multi log between you and everyone who's going to tune into your TikTok. So that you build a fan base, I'm not or a follower base, but yes, they're fans. They love you in a way. The fans who love uh, uh, someone in the cult of personality and an interested in networked crowd for later, later socio political or personal utilization in your life. You become hooked. Uh, anyway, uh, because you can show how artsy you are and fun with everything you, you create, always having been artsy and fun in other aspects of your life or if you're serious and academic you can you can create a channel on your TikTok or a series of videos for educating people uh you know you could you could we don't need this the um the big broadcast media conglomerates to, to, to sell us any more entertainment in the 21st century than they did in the 20, 20th uh, century or, or up to this point in 2022 as a matter of fact uh with the, you know these, these companies are gonna find other you're gonna have to find other outlets and inlets for their money because we're gonna start as, as a as a gen y and gen z and gen a become more powerful on, on, in the world on the internet in, in technology and social media and in social circles we're going to reject text-based social media we're gonna reject uh you know big money corporate uh, entertainment media and we're gonna start replacing it with our own lives, our own creativity. And so video-based application for social media is a huge entry point. We're being able to change the world in many different ways. It's not just the game that gets the same thing anymore.